All right, so you chose a decline dumbbell press with really it's supination, decline dumbbell press with supination. So uh, we really focused on the lower pecs early on here in this push workout, and you're going to see why. There's a lot of upper chest and shoulder work after this. But anyway, so watch the form Brett uses on this. Notice how, first of all, he's got a neutral grip, and he's going to drive up, and he's going to supinate, and he's going to squeeze. This puts a lot of uh, tension on your lower, lower pecs. You may not have the flexibility that Brett has to come all the way in. If you can only come in three quarters of the way, if you can only come in to like right here, that's good too. You're going to still feel it in your lower and outer pecs. Notice how he's dropping down. He's not coming out real wide with the dumbbell. Just like that. So for this first exercise, in terms of intensity, reps, sets, and so forth, I want you to do a couple warm-up sets. Obviously, you're starting your workout with this exercise. And I want you to do, you know, whatever warm-ups you need, if it's two sets, if it's three, if it's four, whatever it takes for you to feel good and warmed up. Then I want essentially three sets, with the last set being a tough one. The first set, I want you to leave maybe three, four reps in the tank. Go up and wait. The second set, I want you to leave maybe a rep or two in the tank. And then the third set, I want you to go to complete failure. It's a very safe exercise we're doing here. Go until you can't do as many reps as you can with good form. And when I say failure, I mean you can no longer do a full rep. Once you get to that point, just drop the dumbbells and that'll be it for the first exercise.